Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at the Januaba Massacre and a massive shout out to Isabel Vieira Costa for recommending this case. Damiao Soares dos Santos was born on the 21st of May 1967. He was the youngest of 11 children with seven sisters and three brothers. Born in Portelina in Minas Gerais, Brazil, which as of 2020 has a population of 37,864 people, he was born into an incredibly poor family. Damiao was a night watchman at the Central Municipal de Educao Infantil Gente Innocente in Januaba, Minas Gerais, having been employed there since 2008. Neighbours noted that he was a discreet individual who sold homemade popsicles to children. He lived in a two-room house in Januaba, which police described as totally unhealthy and inhospitable. On the 5th of October 2014, his father died and according to one of his sisters, this led to numerous mental health difficulties for Damiao. In the same year, he was approached by the State Public Prosecutor's Office and referred to the Psychosocial Care Centre, a Brazilian health institution that cares for people with psychiatric conditions and replaced psychiatric hospitals in Brazil. However, Damiao refused treatment. In September 2017, he took one month's annual leave for a health condition, which led to his dismissal. On the 3rd of October 2017, he told his family that he was going to die and that he would be giving them a gift. On the 5th of October 2017, he walked into the Centro Municipal de Educao Infantil Gente Innocente to hand in his medical certificate. Children in the daycare centre at the time were aged between 3 and 7 and participating in what were described as normal school activities. Damiao then locked the door to the daycare centre, doused several children, staff and himself in fuel before setting himself on fire, hugging some of the children while he was on fire. One teacher, 43-year-old Hile de Abreu Silva Batista, who had three children, attempted to overpower Santos but was unsuccessful and was set on fire. She then began to remove injured children. Burning to death with 90% of her body suffering burns, Batista was awarded the National Order of Merit on the 8th of October 2017. It is believed that her actions saved the lives of dozens of children. In addition to Santos and Batista, a combined 14 people were killed. Those killed included 63-year-old teacher Jenny Oliveira Lopez Martins, 23-year-old Jessica Morgana Silva Santos, 5-year-old Mateos Felipe Rocha, 5-year-old Gabriel Calvalo Oliveira, 4-year-old Ana Clara Ferreira Silva, 4-year-old Luis Davi Carlos Rodriguez, 4-year-old Juan Pablo Cruz dos Santos, 4-year-old Juan Miguel Sorares Silva, 4-year-old Renan Nicolas Santos, 4-year-old Yasmin Mediarayo Salvino, 4-year-old Cecilia Davin G. Diaz, and 4-year-old Talita Vittoria Bispo. 37 children were injured, with many suffering from smoke inhalation, with the most serious cases transferred to Hospital Jayo 23 in Belo Horizonte, which specializes in burn treatments. The mayor of Januaba, Carlos Isladion Mendes, described the tragedy as catastrophic and asked for help from the government of Minas Gerais, with helicopters and ambulances, as well as medicine, provided by the government of Minas Gerais to burn victims. Mendes declared a seven-day mourning, while Governor Pimentel declared three days of mourning. Then President Miguel Temer expressed his solidarity on Twitter with the federal government spending 8.7 million Brazilian reais for the reconstruction of a daycare center with the daycare center demolished. Eventually a new childcare center was built and named after Batista. On the 14th of July 2022, 37 affected families received an undisclosed compensation agreement for moral and material damage from the Minas Gerais government. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform yourself of when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment? It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, have an amazing day, and remember the truth is always more interesting than fuction.